Hey guys, this is Kelly back. Welcome to the very first edition of Free Guitar Lessons here on my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to tackle how to play soulfully with more of our own personality, making a song our own. If that's something that interests you, stick around. It's coming your way. Okay, guys, let's dive right into this. In my own experience, I don't think I really grasped this until later on in in my career and we're talking about making a song your own i know when i first started doing studio work in the late 80s early 90s basically early 90s really uh i played a lot with guys like sonny garish and dirk johnson uh bruce watkins a, a lot of different guys and scott sanders too me and scott played a lot together but back then uh you know, you would create licks that everybody would play. And so you could play them a little more vanilla. You could just play the notes. You didn't have to really put a lot of expression in them or vibrato in them. And so uh, later on, when that that type of music wasn't the popular thing anymore and everybody just wanted to hear electric guitar play a line on the intro instead of everybody which I still love I still I love both uh, I guess if I had my rathers I would uh, rather hear something played by everybody it just sounds more thought out you know I love that kind of stuff but when I had to start playing stuff by myself you know, I started uh, getting this like a producer or writer would say, hey, Kelly, I love what you're playing, but uh, can you play it uh, a little more aggressively or can you play it with a little more feeling or just make it your own, man? And I'm thinking, you know, well, I just came up with this line. That's it is my own, you know, but I wasn't grasping what they were saying. It took me a while, but I finally figured it out. And I just want to share that with you. And maybe you won't have to go through, you know, years of uh, not understanding really what people are talking about when they say, hey, I play with a little more feel and make it your own. So let's just start here. Let's just come up with a little lick in, in maybe in the key of A, like a two, three, four. Three, four. Okay, that's nice. That uh, you know, I could hear that on the radio. Hey, we should write a song to that. <laughs> but you know, it's sort of vanilla. So how can I make that a little more my own? How can I make it a, with a little more soul? Let's see. You see, just adding that little bit of vibrato. And the way I attacked it also, I didn't just attack the string, I sort of sweep into it. And you know, there's fast vibrato and their slow vibrato one of my favorite guitar players in the world steve lukather i remember i know he does it all he's slow fast medium you know the solos and the riffs that i remember that stuck in my brain from toto 4 and all that is more of the slow and even some of them are the really wide you know wide kind of bends but it, it seems like they were always slow and i know he's done some fast ones too but then you know like Ang angus young you know his were always the really fast vibrato it i guess it depends on the song and the sound and everything will determine what kind of vibrato i use you know uh if you're thinking about a joe walsh kind of thing i'm, I'm the <laughs> You know, and he would do that kind of thing a lot, too, to make it his own, you know. All those slide-offs and stuff. And then, you know, speaking of slides, Lukather would always do the... Uh, I love those expressions, too. You know, just a, You know, what can make it your own... You know, just the, the vibrato. 
with the slide off, you know, it just makes it your own. You know, you're just not playing. It sounds vanilla that way, right? It's hard for me not to play the vibrato. Do you see that? I guess that's who I am. Bending into notes, too, can be a great way to express aggressiveness. Yeah, I love the, the whole tone low thing. You know, I, I seem to use that a lot on like real aggressive um, uh, rock country kind of stuff. Especially on the end of a song, you know. You know, with the slide, without the the ring hitting the frets, of course. <laughs> Yeah. Just adding that little bit of vibrato to me just makes makes that lick just uh, I mean it sounds sounds like money. You know, you've heard that before that expression. <laughs> You know, just adding dirt, you know, it can always add a little more aggression. But to more, uh, more than adding, that's the OCD pedal there. The other thing is a little dirty secret. But here's the OCD. And I mean, it can still be aggressive with with a pretty clean sound. And to me, what makes it more aggressive is the the bends, the vibrato. I mean, that's a pretty daggone clean sound. I mean, that's, that was more of the humbuckers there. Let's do it with the single chord. I mean, see, to me, more than... What makes it aggressive to me is... It's all the bends, the vibrata, and the attack... So I encourage you, uh, just try to add some vibrato, try to some different vibrato, you know, try to. I mean, you can exaggerate it. You know, you can do those kind of. switch guitars here this is actually a guitar made by a company called vintage it's not a vintage guitar but it is a vintage guitar vintage vintage it's the brand name actually i uh, borrowed this guitar on a jimmy fortune session from mark caps if you all know jimmy caps i'm sure you know mark caps great engineer in this town works with the isaacs some of my favorite singers by the way but mark let me try this and now this is a 52 
uh, kind of reissue. And he had a 62, and I just fell in love with this one. And he was nice enough to let me borrow this. I've actually had it for a couple months now. Vintage agreed to, to make me one. Been really slammed here the last few, two or three weeks because of NAM show out in California. And man, I'll have to say, these are some of the best plantellis. The hardware is just amazing on them. I wanted to show you that also you can, let me turn a little compression on here. You can use it uh, with more of the chicken picking. fast fire brought it there. Those like B-bender kind of things, it's cool at the end of those. like to give a little slow vibrato. Well, I guess it's more of a medium. So just try that. Just try to add some vibrato to your playing. It's going to become your own thing. You're you're going to be adding your own personality because you will once you go through the different speeds of vibrato and the different techniques of vibrato, it will you you will just land on the right one for you. You know, like a, you know, I'm sort of doing sort of a slow. But for you, it might be might be faster, and it, that's how you make the same licks, the same riffs, the same intros. How you make it your own, guys. I have so enjoyed giving this lesson. I never thought I would really be a guy who gave lessons. To be honest with you, I, I think it's really a God thing, and uh, I'm excited about doing it. Thank you so much. That's your first free guitar lesson be sure to share like and comment and if you like the video subscribe let me know what you think let me know if you have any reviews that you want me to do i mean i'm, I'm using a kemper for this tomorrow i'll be doing a thing where i'll be using some amps so uh you know let me know what you want to know about tell you what i've got some exciting news coming up i'm going to announce it next week and uh, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be really interactive for all of us. And it, it's going to be something that I think that you're all going to really enjoy. Anyways, until next Saturday, I'll see you guys. Hey, I'm Kelly Back. Stick around. I've got something real important to share. Give me five minutes to share with you three steps that I believe is going to totally change your life. Step one is to take the KB challenge. What is the KB challenge? The KB challenge is to take a bucket of ice water, you take mayonnaise and you rub it on your right side, put some peanut butter on your head and then mustard. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. The KB Challenge actually originated 
with my pastor Rob Tripp. He gave us a challenge at our church to spend 15 minutes a day. Who can, who doesn't have 15 minutes a day? And you know, I know a lot of us said, you know, I'm barely getting out the door. I don't have an extra 15 minutes. Set your clock a little early. That's what I started doing about 30 minutes early. He gave us that challenge to do that. I took him up on that. Actually went home, got up the next morning at 6.30, started reading the Bible, started at Matthew. My whole goal was just to read through the whole Bible within a year. I got through pretty much all of the New Testament. And I realized, you know, I really didn't retain a lot of this that I read. Uh, I, I got some out of it. It's the Word of God. Uh, Sarah and I actually got talking, and she was talking about, you know, we're told to study out the Word of God. And that's step two, is to study out the Word of God. And how do you study out the Word of God? You know, what I found is I would read a verse or two, and then I would read the different translations. I mean, we don't speak Greek, or I don't. You might. That's what the New Testament was written in, was Greek. One Greek word, it might take a whole paragraph to describe that one Greek word, or, or at least a sentence. So we have all these great translations, like the NIV, the King James Version, the Common English Version. You know, there's all these different versions. It is so awesome because we can I can read a couple verses and then read it in the different translations and it really starts to open up and I really start understanding what the verses are actually saying and what the intent was. Also another great way is to read commentaries on those verses. You know, the, w technology is so great for us Bible readers. But that was step two is study the word. So step three, apply the Word to your everyday life. You know, it's so awesome to get the Word in us, and that way when we're going through something, we can apply the Word. And so many times, God has, the Holy Spirit has led me to a scripture. How many of you have had the same thing happen to you? I bet you have. Not too long ago, 3 a.m., I get a phone call, and it's not a good phone call. And uh, I start getting very anxious. There's nothing really I can do in the situation. Uh, can't hardly go back to sleep. Took me probably at least an hour to get back to sleep. Then the next morning I got up. That's the first thing on my mind. And thank the Lord for the, the KB challenge or the Rob Trip challenge. I had a routine. I went in. I got my uh, iPad out. I opened up my... Bible app, and I just happened to be reading in Philippians, and I really believe the Holy Spirit led me to Philippians 4.4, 4. and I'd just like to share that with you, me being anxious and everything, you know, during that time, and what a great scripture for me to read. I'm sure a lot of you know what I want to say. Philippians 4.4, 4. rejoice in the Lord always, not just some of the time, not just when things are going great. You know, Paul said, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And he was talking about, he had just said how that things are not always great. He said, I've had and I've had not. And I can still do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Rejoice in the Lord always, no matter what the cir circumstances. We're not rejoicing for the circumstance. I wasn't rejoicing because I got a call at 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, but I can rejoice in the Lord. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. There it is. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. By prayer and petition, it says. You know, prayer to me, is just more of an overall way that we communicate with God. Petition is a specific thing that we're asking for, just like when you petition the courts. I mean, you're petitioning a specific thing that you're wanting out of the courts. And so it says, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 
And that's what I felt like I feel like I am now. That's what I felt like I was as soon as I read this scripture. And I asked God, I said, Lord, take care of this situation. Lord, I'm asking you that your will be done in this situation. And so, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So my heart and my mind is guarded in Christ Jesus. Ain't that awesome? Guys, this can totally change your life. I really believe this. If you'll just spend a little time. I know Rob actually, after he gave us the 15-minute challenge, he said, you know, if you really don't have 15 minutes, which, you know, some things you just got to make time for. Let's look at practicing the guitar. If you don't ever practice and you're not consistent, you're not going to get any better. And if you're not practicing the right things, you're not going to get any better. You know, when you're playing guitar, you need to have a specific time every day that you spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever you can. And you need to do the same thing with the Word of God. I encourage you, take the KB Challenge and spend at least 15 minutes a day in the Word of God. Be sure to subscribe, comment, share. I'm looking forward to hanging with you guys next Saturday. All right, we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, it's Kelly back here at my little studio. Let you see some behind the scenes here. I play with the Music City Connection. It's the band that plays with the Huckabee Show. And we're doing a CD, our first CD, and I'm privileged to get to do two songs on that. And one of them's a chicken picking kind of thing. I already had a demo on, and this one's more of a modern sort of kind of thing, mid-tempo kind of thing. So I just wanted to show you all the process I go through to make a little demo. Okay, guys, uh, here's my chart. Don't really have a name for the tune yet. If you guys have any ideals, send them my way. Just put it in the comment down here. That's what I got so far. Uh, it's not in stone. And my daughters got me this for, let's see, I think it was Father's Day. Yeah, Father's Day. Huh, wasn't that sweet? And I got my cranberry juice, my diet cranberry juice in there. I love diet. I've always hated cranberry juice, for, but for some reason I love diet. Uh, this is my Pro Tools rig. It's just a little 002 that I'm going to use for this demo. Just wanted you to see the behind the scenes and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, here's my little Pro Tools setup, a little 002. And I'll be running Easy Drummer just as basically a loop, just to give the guys a reference of the tempo and sort of the feel. Uh, but I want them to be able to take their liberty. Here's my pedal board that I'll be using on this little demo thing. I've got my H9, M9, Timeline, not a 9, but it rhymes with 9. And then some uh, overdrives, distortion pedals, and compressor. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. I hadn't really got any sounds up yet, but we'll do that together. I'll probably just be using headphones on this. I've got a couple Mackie speakers that I like. Uh, using the Kemper uh, for this demo here and uh, so let's get started hey guys so I finished the chart I uh, winded up adding a bridge to the song and so it's basically sort of like two long sections an A section and a B section so uh, anyways and, and I found a couple sounds that I really liked and I'll go over those with you uh, let me turn everything off here's basically and I'm going to do the out of phase sound uh, with the uh, front pickup and the middle pickup. That's just basically a little bit of compression from the Keeley and a little bit of the uh, D verb from uh, my Pro Tools rig. And I found a really cool verb called the black hole. And I just increased the mix a little bit. It's the only thing I did different on that. That's what I love about the Eventide stuff. I mean, it's all so user-friendly. I mean, you might have to tweak a little something here and there, but the sounds are just amazing. And uh, I'll show you that sound. Here's that. This is sweet. This is lush. 
And then the delay is just a quarter note, sort of like a uh, tape delay kind of there. With a little modulation on the, the feedback. I love the strime and delays. <laughs> and then you mesh those together and you got... that might actually be cool for the front of this so uh, let's let's see what happens so we'll start with something like that let me uh, get a little loopage going
Yeah, so that's pretty much it. With one little flam in there, a little mistake in there, but uh, hey, I want you to see the behind the scenes, not after we fixed everything. So, anyways, uh, that uh, you've heard it first here on Kelly Bag's YouTube channel, behind the scenes. We'll probably edit that out, hopefully. <laughs> But that's pretty much it, and uh, what I'll do now is I'll send it, uh, we have a group me page, Music City Connection, and I'll send it over, and those guys will be able to hear it. I've got the chart, so uh, I can't wait to play you the final thing, and uh, we're going to record Saturday, and I'm going to be doing some behind the scenes of the whole session of the whole day. So, and like I said, can't wait to play you the final cut, what finally comes of this piece. So uh, excited. Hey, if you've enjoyed this, share this video with someone. If you've enjoyed this, like it, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to hear, and uh, be sure to subscribe. All right, see you guys.